Bib and Tucker, distilled in Tennessee. It's Kentucky. No, distilled in Tennessee, it says on the back. Bottled in Kentucky, it's a trick. It's a trick. Welcome to Bourbon on a Budget. Tonight we are drinking Bib and Tucker small batch bourbon whiskey. It's got a little note on the bottle. It says, why it's a fine time to drink. Uh, I don't think it's always a fine time to drink, but right now it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is 46% alcohol by volume, 92 proof. Just edging over that 90 proof a little bit. And uh, I'm hoping it's tasty because a friend has been recommending it nonstop. This is for you, Dave. Hey, Dave. Are you gonna sip it, or are you gonna pop it right in there? I'm gonna shoot this thing because... All right, well, here we I go. Know Doink, it's and then tap it. It's gonna be good. And then up in the hat. And Bib and Tucker means proper attire, I guess, back in the old days. McNair. That's what it said on the bottle. <laughs> Just came from the beach. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna try this out. Cheers. Yeah. Um, all right, Randy, so today we're drinking this thing. It says Bilbo Fucker. <laughs> Bilbo T. Baggins. Uh, what's it actually called? Bob Tucker? Bib. Bib. Bib, Bib Nugget. Bib and Tucker. Bib. It's Bib Nugent. It's Small Tucker. Batch, Trucker. Bourbon whiskey. Mm -hmm. I don't have my glasses on. Maybe that was part of the problem. Peerless quality. Why, it's a fine time to drink. It's a fine time to drink. Well, they got one thing right, um, the cork, and I don't know. Then they, the bottle looks nice and old. They so embossed. Cool. Yeah, it's nice, nice and nice embossed. And antique. Yeah. Old timey. Old timey. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Bilbo Tucker. Okay, ready? Yeah. So, mm -hmm, has a. Not burning. Yeah, it doesn't smell burning. Mm -hmm. Smells not bad. Now, are you gonna shoot it? Um, no, I'm gonna take a sip. First. Are you taking a sip first? Yeah. All right, we're gonna take a sip. Oh, that's an immediate burn right in my mouth. See, I, I'm the opposite. It's, uh, it's nice and even to you. Smooth. Oh, not really said. feeling anything until now. It's really starting to heat up here. There's a aftertaste that I really don't know how to describe. Um, but it's tasty. I wouldn't go as far as saying tasty. I know. <laughs> I know you were. Actually, it wasn't. It wasn't that. It wasn't too bad. I mean, it had, there was like an immediate burn, and then it subsided a little bit. And then it started to get a little uh, more even going down. Not too burning in the chest or the uh, or the stomach at all. Has a warm vanilla and toffee flavor. That's what it says. <laughs> Chestnut also. A little bit. In yeah. leather. Kind of from the rough and tumble <laughs> early days. <Yeah>. Leather. <laughs> it's good. It is good. I feel like it is pretty smooth. I know we're not supposed to use that word. No, no, we use smooth now. But it's very gentle to my throat as it goes down it. So smooth. Yes, smooth. <laughs> Let it sit on the tongue. It's a little fiery when you sip it. Mm -hmm. Did you get tongue fire? Yep. It went into my my nose. Yeah, a little nasally. Although people usually shoot it. Oh, do they? Well, and then when you put ice in it, you sip it. So if you sip this when it's neat, it has a little bit more punch. Yeah. Like I don't know if I would sip this neat. Yeah, when you sip it. But we can shoot it. Okay. You ready? Sure. Okay. I'm gonna shoot it. Let's see how it is. Um, 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 um. I mean, it's it's warm. It's very warm. Smooth. But <laughs> no. Yeah. Kind of smooth. Uh, kind of burning, but it's not. It's not bad. It doesn't have any harsh. 
No. And it disappears pretty quick. I don't know, as you're it disappeared. Does, yeah. Although I feel warmth. Yeah. I had a warmth. So Warm, on yeah. shooting it, it's sort of like it goes in nice and smooth, and then I get sort of heat right in the back of my throat. It has kind of a maybe an oak taste or something. I don't eat lumber. It tastes like when you eat lumber. I don't know. And then gumball? Gumball! And then uh, you get a heat here, but it passes pretty quickly. Um, doesn't taste bad. No, it doesn't taste bad. Um, I guess it would be a fun shot to mm -hmm. do because it's not terrible. And it's it's not bad. Little, it's got a little punch. Mm -hmm. Seems pretty good. Yeah, well, this one is on the top end of what we consider budget. It's around 50 bucks. So, uh, what do you think about that? I think for 50, it's the, you know, uh, not too bad for, for 50. Yeah. I like it. Uh, I would buy it again. Um, if you're in a pinch, you're in the store and trying to figure out something, I would definitely go with this one. It doesn't really smell or taste like rubbing alcohol going down, so that's good. Um, it's good. Give it a shot, Bib and Tucker. Motherfucker. Oh, he said it. <laughs> I, I like it. For $50, it seemed a little bit steeper than our budget, but I would get it again. Do you go over budget on this one? Yeah, I kind of. Yeah, I guess 50 and under, maybe. Uh, like 50 creeps into that not budget territory, but it's really good. What do you think? Would you buy it again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And the bottle looks really nice, by the way. I like the way it looks. It's very well designed. Looks almost like an old school poison bottle, which I like. What do y'all think about 50 bucks? For, mm. for 50 bucks. So 50 bucks kind of feels like feels the top high. of our budget. Mm -hmm. If you have a real job that pays a lot of money, like your anything other than what I am, you, 50 bucks may not be so far to your budget, but compared to other things we usually get in the $20, $30 range, um, $50 is pushing it. I think this is a really good whiskey, mm -hmm. a really good bourbon. Well, I bought the Chattanooga mm -hmm. single barrel. Yeah. So it was a small batch yeah. sewer single barrel, mm -hmm. and that was like 60, so it was 10 bucks more. Yeah. It was way smoother. And I was like sipping whiskey. Is it? So for 10 bucks more, I could for get 60. That. Man, we're really creeping up the, our budget. Well, I, I would only drink at that. That was like last me like five special. years. Oh, Lordy. Um, so maybe this is like a special occasion, like once every couple of months so maybe for me. I don't want to. Yeah, you could shoot it. Just don't shoot it all in one night, maybe. I wouldn't. For $50, I wouldn't want to shoot, shoot it. I guess it depends on what you were doing. Because if you're shooting it, you just want to get drunk fast. Uh, That's my opinion. Eh, it's part of it. I don't know anything about. I don't know. I think it's a really good. I think for fifty bucks, if you're looking for a nice one, this is a good one to get. It mm -hmm. tastes good. I like it. It's complex. Although with my budget, I'd probably buy something more like a High West for thirty something. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. just in that budget sense. But if you need a special bottle, this might be a good one to get. This is one of the higher priced ones we've gotten so far, right? It would look nice we've on done your a, shelf. We've done a couple for 50. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of like the top of Yeah, it's good though. It, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying if you're thinking budget conscious, you're like, I have a worker job. I always say go get a Larceny or a... Elijah Craig. Elijah Craig mm -hmm. is really good. Those are in the 20 range. But if you like 30 something, like the High West are good. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want a nice special one, this is a good one. It, it doesn't have any afterburn. It's I feel nice and smooth now. Smooth. Um, it it's still good. has a good uh, taste on my palate, so. Yeah, good. it tasted good. Yeah. Look at that. Plus, it's in this old timey bottle, so people will think you're cool. Mhm. Mm and you can reuse it when you're done. Yeah, you can put other whiskeys in this, and they'll never know. You can sell it on Etsy. Sell it on Etsy. Water. Like a beast. That's some iced tea. <laughs> I like John Belushi and Animal House. <laughs> So uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching this bourbon on a budget. Um, please watch. Uh, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share this with your friends. Uh, we're reviewing these every week if we can, and then I try and get them out once a week. Uh, we're looking at uh, whiskeys, bourbons, rye, scotch, alcohol, booze, things that are in a budget. Our budget's usually 20 to 50. 
Um, and we'll give you an honest, untrained, non sommelier real world opinion. We don't know what the fuck we're talking we about. We barely know what we're talking about, but we like drinking this stuff. And we're going to tell you what we think as laymen. And we think a lot of you will understand what we're talking about. So please uh, share this with your friends and we'll talk to you. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Boo. Yay. Boo. Yay. I like when Rainy sits here and does this the best. <laughs>